Hey everybody, Michael here from Get Fit Over 40, and I did say I would do an update to this modification for my 1973 Super Beetle. Um, this is basically the air intake, so normally the air would come in through those grills there and go into that sort of black box that then has a blower motor that then pumps cold air from the outside into your, basically your blower, your window area. And uh, there's no way of really getting it that hot. Uh, and plus it's just bringing in cold air, which on a cold, cold day, if you're trying to heat it up some other way and you're bringing cold air in, it doesn't really work so good. If you want fresh air, I figure you can just crack your window open. So here's the neat little thing that I did. This goes in basically just behind my glove box and brings in basically air from the cab or from the interior so it's not so cold. I run it through this motor. I did have a different motor that wasn't working. It was a bilge motor for a boat. It just didn't have enough torque so it didn't push enough air. It had the volume but just didn't have enough power. This motor is basically from a server fan. It's a server fan. It's really, really powerful. It's actually being, I don't know if you can see it underneath here, that underneath there is a controller. So it's like an electric controller that you would use for like an RC motor. You can see the wires that go up into the motor. Everything goes in through there. It's all cocked. And you probably wonder how I heat it. I did have one of those gas heaters in here, but it wasn't really very uh, reliable, I guess you'd say. Sorry about all the noise. It wasn't reliable. It didn't work most of the time. And so what I did in terms of heat, I have a couple solutions here. I have one of these little buddy heater type things, and it's a propane heater that can you can use indoors. I just cracked the window open a little bit for some fresh air, but it's got a CO2 and carbon dioxide sensor. It'll automatically shut off, just runs off of propane. It heats it up really good in here. And then I also have this little guy, just a basic electric heater that I can turn on under the seat and it just puts a little bit of warm air on my feet. I've also got one installed underneath here if I want to use it to another electric heater. So I've got different heating options. You might wonder how this fan works. So I turn on my fan and you see the lights turn on. So I have a little switch over here. Let's do that again, you can see it. So no lights, hit the switch. Lights turn on, I have the controller in the glove box because it's easy to get to, and then once it's on, I get fan. And even on low, I can actually feel it now coming through. So I'll turn it up a little bit so it go outside. And here's there, it's not very loud, but the air going through the vents makes a bit of noise. Turn it off, either that way or with the switch, and we're done. So when I'm all done, just put it back, close up to get that, and we're good to go. So a couple little things, if you're using one of these controllers that you might want to do, it's because it's like uh, made for an RC car and you have LiPo battery options and nickel methyl hydrate battery options. I found that by default it was on the LiPo battery option, which means the controller is going to up and down regulate the voltage and it kind of makes the a lot of times it'll start off good but as soon as you put load on the battery it notices the the voltage change and all of a sudden it, you drop power in the fan and you won't be able to get it up to maximum power again unless you reset it so it kind of is a little temperamental that way so i changed it over to the nicad battery i think it's a nicad battery which is closer to a car battery a lead battery in terms of the voltage moving around a bit and so now it doesn't it's not affected <coughs> excuse me it's not affected so when not, when i turn my lights on or other things in the car uh, it doesn't affect the, the fan speed so a lot better now all right so watch my other video if you want to see kind of how i did some of the installation i have some more details on how i installed this minus the new motor i've got the, the other motor that i put in there that wasn't working very well but this is the new updated version and it works really, really good. And now I have basically, I'm recirculating the interior temperature, whatever, however warm it is there is how warm I'll get it on the windows. I'm not bringing in cold air. It's not exactly hot, but it does help to de defrost or defog the windows. All right, so hope you enjoyed that.